Sam, Shanta, good morning. Good morning. All right, so wait till Gerald gets set up here real quick. I'm going to show you what we're going to go over in the conference call tonight. So tonight we got a conference call at 5 p.m. And what I want to go over tonight is what we'll be showing in the room. We all know I have a couple setups that I look for. I look for a retracement setup, and then I look for a momentum setup in uh, all these different markets. The system that we'll be showing works on all markets. It doesn't matter if it's futures, uh, Forex. It doesn't matter if it's uh, currency markets, stocks, indexes. We even, we even have traders that trade OEX options uh, also. So well, whatever markets you're looking at, the whole uh, methodology of the system is trying to find a high probability retracement level to get into these markets um, uh, at uh, high probability entries on retracements with overall trend direction. So what we're going to be going over tonight, we have a conference call at 5 p.m. Now, I'm going to be going over this in detail tonight uh, for about an hour. Here's a strategy going forward that uh, how we're going to be employing the system. Uh, this is an algorithm that I, I have built trying to catch retracement trades based upon momentum and also based upon overall retracements in the market with trend direction. That being said is that how we're going to do this is I'm going to be showing entry levels. This is actually a 5 sim Renko chart, David. 5 sim Renko, if you look at it right here, that's a 5 sim Renko that I'm showing right now. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the first stage is we're going to be showing it in the room on crude and gold uh, in the room and let you uh, let this run all next week, Monday through Friday, all next week, so you can see the entries on the system. This is yesterday, just a few of the entries yesterday. Uh, this is all yesterday morning, from the morning to the to the um, to the afternoon and the day before. So. What it's going to show, it's going to show high probability entries, and then it's going to show a first target of X amount of ticks, which I'll go over tonight. Um, usually I have that set at 12 to 15 ticks. Um, I think in the room I'm just going to show 12. It's going to have a runner of 100 plus ticks with a trail of, a, I, I'm either going to decide 24 ticks or 34 ticks, depending um, how I want to get set up. But typically it's going to be a 24, 34 tick trail, and then uh, um, it's going to show entry, a stop, and exit. So any stops that occur will be a couple ticks below these swing lows. That will automatically uh, pop up also. So the, the new algorithm shown in the room will actually show high probability entries, where the stops will be if they happen, and then where the exits will be. The exits are, which I'll go over tonight, are going to be, you can actually get better exits with the system. Uh, based upon looking at my live room charts, which I'll go over. Uh, for example, if you look at this level, um, it stopped out on a right almost a couple ticks right at that level retracement. Um, and this actually hit the symmetry dots up here, or you can even let it run higher. So what this will help you at is trying to recognize where the high probability setups are with the live room charts in combination with both. And uh, that will help you out. So that's, that's phase one. What we're going to do is we're going to be showing these uh, this in the in the room from here on out starting next Monday and it's going to be projected for you guys and gals on a weekly basis for there secondly is we can actually back test this let's say you don't want to use a 5 sim Renko I like to use longer Renko bars in fact you can go to a 10 sim Renko you can go to a 10 sim Renko and get fewer trades with bigger moves so and your probability goes up and I'll show you tonight uh, how your probability goes up with larger time frames. So what we're going to do is after you get, guys get used to this, and we're going to have two or three conference calls on this first uh, when we start seeing this in the live room. We'll probably have it <clears throat> every couple weeks until we understand why these are coming up. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to get this out to members in the room. Let me hold on one sec. I've got the other ninja running here. Um, once we get that going, is uh, um, we're going to actually get this in the hands of all the traders. We're going to add this to the uh, to the uh, suite that we already have, the software that already have in place. 
There's not going to be an additional cost or anything like that. It's going to be an added bonus. What that means is, is we're going to get this out to you guys and gals as a software add-on where you can backtest uh, any time frame uh, and also you can use the strategy uh, backtesting system to see the accuracy of all the trades over the last year or so whatsoever on the system. That being said, we are turning off the auto trade on this. There will not be any auto on this. That will be the third phase. The second phase is getting this into all hands and see how everybody likes it and see how you can use it with the live charts we already have. In other words, these will come up live and they will, there's not lagging and they will show you the stop, the entry, all that stuff. You may prefer a longer term uh, a Rinko. What I don't want to do is get this out to everybody on an auto and everybody not knowing what they're doing not understanding the software. We're going to have several, several meetings before that. You're actually going to see it live over the next few months in the live room. Uh, that, that's the first phase. The second phase, getting this in your hands and saying, hey, let me back test copper. Let me back test the S&P on this and show the results. If I take every trade, what, what would it be, my percentage, everything like that. So a lot of you guys and gals wanted something where you could test the system based upon this methodology and see what kind of accuracy we got and I'll go over that tonight. The third phase is once everybody, the members that have utilized the system, um, what we will do is we'll roll out the third phase and there will be an opportunity uh, down the road for, an, an, uh, for automated uh, entries down the road for the third phase. Okay, so that's the three phase we're going to go, we're going to do our due diligence on this thing though, is we're going to first show it in the room and show how it works. Uh, second, we'll get it out in your hands, and uh, it will be disabled for any. You can't just go in there and turn it on and have a buy sell for you all day long without you knowing what's going on and all that stuff, and and uh, you not knowing any any parameters that you want to do. Because what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to release the system. Say, hey, use these exact numbers. Use this exact. Uh, now the room I will. You'll see exactly what I'm using, but. I'm not going to set this up and say, hey, you have to use a 5 Simrico, you have to use a 10 Simrico. You know, th this is educational software. I'm not going to tell you exactly, you do this, do that. You have capability of either swing trading this thing or you can actually scalp it. There's several ways you can do this. Uh, back testing it will allow you do, to do that uh, with my software, and I'll show you how uh, I got that worked out also. So that will be... Um, that will be the three phases. Do not email Gerald about any of this stuff because what we're going to do is we're going to have um, we're going to have uh, stages on this as we roll forward. Uh, so uh, he will get out email to you guys as we roll out. Like I said, the first stage starting Monday of next week. I'm going to show one time frame. Now, is that the perfect time frame for you? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I'm going to show a time frame that's going to show entries like this that everybody can utilize with the live charts in the room. You know, will you have more stops or less stops than a larger time frame? Maybe. Is there a better time frame for you out there on a certain market? Could be. You know, so that's why I'm going to get the software in your hands and let you uh, uh, look at all the parameters. Because the cool thing about Ninja Trader is, is their back testing program. You can literally cater this to any market with any setting just by running Strategy Analyzer and Market Analyzer. And um, you can put your slippage in there and everything. Now, this is based upon limit orders. Uh, this system is based upon limit orders, uh, and I'll show you how that works tonight. Okay, so that's the three phases what we'll go over. We'll start Monday projecting in the room to go with the live charts. This is not going to be any, uh, like I said, extra additional uh, monies uh, to see, to have it in your hands. This is going to be, it'll be easier for Gerald if it's an add-on program uh, that we add on uh, with the program that he already coded. Uh, and already uh, locked, and I believe, Gerald, that would be easier for you, correct, if we do it as an add-on on a zip file? Would that be easier for you to get out? Let me see if that's that's good for him to make sure that that way we don't have to reprogram all the stuff, and it will be an added bonus for you guys and gals as we roll forward. So that will be after we show this and have a couple conference calls on this. Um, we will be doing that, and um, th 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 that will be uh, the best way to do it and he will just add it to the overall suite of indicators that we have. All right, so this will help you guys and gals. This will help you 
as an added bonus to the uh, 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 to the indicators we already have out to you, where the high probability trades are. So if some of you are trying to say, hey, I don't know if this is a possible entry, the automated entries will help you on deciding uh, if that is a high probability place. And it works in great combination with the live room charts. So that's what we'll do. And like I said, the second phase will be um, will be getting this out in your hands. So, you know, if you want to run, a lot of you like to run a uh, a lower Rinko bar, a three sim Rinko, and you're going to get more retracements. And some of you, like, I'll run all the way up to a 10 sim Rinko. You know, the 10 sim Rinko, it doesn't go a lot of trades. It doesn't show a lot of trades. But, you know, you got, got some great swing trades where it'll show two or three or four trades a day. And they are quite substantial moves if you catch them on the right retracement. So that will be for more swing traders or more traders that want to take a little bit more risk and have a little larger stop. The higher Rico bar you go, the larger stop you have. The lower Rico bar you have go, the lower stop you will have. I'll go over that tonight. And I'll show you the probability on these trades using a two tick a stop loss. No matter what though, uh, I will be showing a couple tick stop loss on the algorithm above the swing high and swing low. That's what these are based upon, meaning on all these trade setups, you will notice if it breaks after an entry, if it breaks that level, it's going to stop itself out. If it breaks this level, it's the same. It's going to stop itself out. You know, so if it breaks this level, it's going to stop itself out. Um, no matter what, no matter if you use these to help you out with entries with the live room charts as an added bonus, it's still the same methodology. I'm trying to still see if I can catch high probability entries on these setups, on these markets, but with limited risk. Every one of these trades will have limited risk uh, knowing you can actually go in and uh, depending on when you get this in your own hands, you can actually uh, put as many ticks loss you want. If you, if you want. if you want to put it as a zero uh, right at the swing low, you can do that also where you have no two ticks below the swing low right there to lower risk. You can put it here. I have it two ticks below the swing low, but you have the capability of doing that with the system, which I'll go over tonight uh, as we move forward. Okay, so that's the plan tonight. That is the plan, and you can validate the trades most upon the high probability trades per per per. Now, here's the thing about this too: is this is based upon specific Rinko bars, Cameron, and so on. So. This will show you what a five sim looks like versus taking all the three sim trades versus all five sim trades versus all eight sim trades. So it'll give you an idea real quick what a high probability, high probability time frame is per market. And that will help a lot of traders out right away. So we'll have it tonight at, uh, and, and this is just the first of many because this is an extremely powerful system if you combine it with the live room charts. Uh, like I said, the exits aren't going to be perfect on this thing because you can let the runners run using my sim dots and so on to even get better exits. What it will help traders out with is trying to find high probability trades that they normally would not be able to learn as quickly just by the live room charts by themselves. In other words, if you are a trader that is trying to learn about my retracement trading and my momentum trading, these entries will guide you in that respect. So you're not looking at missing those type of uh, uh, setups, okay? So tonight, we'll do that at 5 p.m. Like I said, uh, we'll have a conference call, and then I will be showing this next week in the live room, letting it run. We'll go over all stops, entries, trails tonight, and then, like I said, the second phase. Uh, we'll probably do this for about a month. A month, we'll do this, and then we'll, um, and then the, the, uh, the second phase is, that gives Gerald time to code this, and to lock it up, we'll get it out to all members who lease the program so they can back test any market, any time frame. Like I said, you don't. this is going to be based upon a certain fix. Whatever I decide to put in, which I think is going to be a 12 tick first target, you don't <clears throat> have to put that in. You can back test this and say, hey, what's the best first target? Eight ticks, nine ticks, 10 ticks, 11 ticks, 15 ticks per market, 20 ticks per market. You know, so that's. The, the cool thing about the analyzer, it will analyze for you of all the trades that happened all year. You can go back a whole year if you want. What's the best ticks for the highest probability? In other words, if I go from 12 ticks down to 8 ticks, obviously your probability is going to go up. 
you know, I'll go over that tonight. You know, you may be at 75% with this one right here, and then it goes up to 81% by lowering your, your target. And that's why you get in your own hands and you can really create, everybody always wants to create their own strategy. Well, this is a way to do it. You can now create your own strategy based upon my methodology, based upon the time frame you want and based upon the number of ticks you want, your first target, second target, your trail, et cetera. That's what is really going to help traders out on pinpointing some of these entries.